hey guys welcome to the second part of this Django tutorial so this is the second and final part in this um, chat app with Django so in the last video we stopped at um, saving all the values into database so we add two models which were let me quickly come here messages and room so this room is gonna create a new room whenever a user wants to create a new room and then this message is going to store the messages so this message is like the database for storing all the message so as you can see we have the value of the message a developers we have the date and the time we have the user which submitted that message and we have the room so as saying the room with the id of two so if you didn't watch the last video you should definitely watch that before this so what we just need to do now since we have all the database stored i think we don't have too much of work to do we just need to get all the data and showcase it here but where we need to do a little bit of extra work is to make sure that this data are showcasing in real time so if a user from another mobile phone or from another place in the world texts or also sends a message we want to see it right here in real time without even refreshing this page so we are using ajax for this in the last video we use ajax so that when the user submit so if i come here and say i testing you're gonna see that i click send it says message sent successfully this page didn't refresh and then it was cleared from here if i come to messages you're gonna see that i have a new message i testing the date and time the user and the room id so now we use ajax to do that now we want to use ajax also again to load these um, messages data in real time let's get ahead with that so right here we just need to have a new url so if we are just using normal django to just load the messages you know we're just gonna come into the views we have a new function or we don't even need a new function we're just gonna come to the room and then we just specify the message and send it to the html file and then just showcase it but if we do that, once the user updates or creates a new message, it's not going to be updated in real time. So we need to make that real time. So let's come into URLs. We need to have a new view for getting all the messages. And this URL is going to be dynamic. So since we're using a dynamic URL, let's copy this and paste this. So let's say slash get messages. So if you can read this, this is saying that get messages slash a particular room that we want to get the message. So we're going to have the room name. So if the room name is coders, like right in here, the room name of this is back develop backend developers. So we're going to be like get messages slash backend developers. Then we'll say views that get messages and then room get messages. So this is good. And then we're just going to come into our views.py file create a new function get messages it should take a request and it should also take room and for now let's pass so now let's save this so now this is working fine now what we just want to do is to come here and then we want to get all the messages of that particular room the user is in so now that we know we have the room name so we can use this room name to get all the messages of that room now when we get all these messages of this room then we're gonna return a json response of all the messages then from our front end we're gonna use ajax javascript to access that json response and showcase it to our user now first of all we need to make sure that we are importing json response so that we can use that so right here in http we can say json response so right here now we are no longer gonna pass what we're just gonna do is remove that we'll say room details so this is a new variable so we're accessing the room model dot object dot get and then we're getting the room which has a name of this room right here so now that we know we have that room that we're looking for let's get all the messages associated with that room so let's say messages 
good should be equals to message so this message uh, model just object dot filter and they want to filter with the room underscore underscore i contains don't worry i'm going to explain this if you don't understand it yet room details dot id so what this line of code is doing now let me go back to what we did in the first tutorial so right here in, in model.py we created a new model named message now this message what is is just the model that's going to be storing all the messages on this platform of the messages and then we add four attributes the value of that message the date that message was sent the user and now what we are specific about is the room so this is what i want to talk about this room is which room was this message uh, being sent from like which room does this message belong to exactly that's the word so this room is just specifying the room id of the message that this that this message belongs to so now that we know that room id we can just get all the messages now if we come back here into views we're saying message.object.filter so now we want to filter with all the list of the data we have here with the room id that contains the room details.id now i don't think we should even say contains i think we're supposed to say with the room that is equals to room details.id now this is that um, we're filtering with all the messages with the one in which the room is this room details.id now let's just return a json response return json response and then let's return it uh, as a variable of message messages actually messages should be fine then as a list obviously we need to save that as a list i will say messages um dot values like this so this is returning a json response and is returning it as a variable of messages so this is what we're going to be using to access it and then we're turning it as a list of messages which is this messages dot value so we're getting all the values from here that's very good now we have this done now what we just need to do is to come into our room.html so right here this was the ajax function we used in the beginning for submitting the message so for now let's just comment that out and i think we can close this up good so right here should be good to have another script so right here we're going to have another script Let's just have it right here good so let's create a new script so in here i'm going to paste the particular javascript code so what this code is doing i'm going to explain all this code line by line so this is saying that once we load this document which is this page um then we want to have we want to do everything in this function so this is set, set interval what the set interval does is that anything inside this bracket or the function is going to be done again and again and again with this particular amount of time which is one seconds so this means that all this ajax function and getting all the requests everything is going to be done every second that's why we can access the data in real time so once uh, an update is made the next second we have that data updated already so now we are now using the ajax we're saying get so this time around we're getting a particular data from the url get messages slash room so you remember when we did it right where is that right here get messages slash so now we are giving it the room and where is the room in our views remember that in the room view right here we sent in room so this room is the name of this particular room so we're saying get messages slash the particular name of the room and then if we've got everything successful and then so what we have right here when we are getting we're getting this json response right here so this is what we're getting here and if it was successful um 
you can do console.log response so it's going to show the response it got which is that particular um data so but i commented that out because we don't need it what we just want to do is to show it in our ui and then i said display dot empty so what this is is so if i come here you'll see that i have a new um, a div tag with an id of display so first of all i made sure that this is empty i removed everything there i'm actually going to remove all this or just comment it out so i removed everything in there and then i looped through so i say for var key in response dot messages so for each value in this response and this response which we got was json and we're saying dot messages as you can see is this messages of everything we got here so we're saying for var key in response dot messages now i want to have a new variable var we just named it temp just for that and then now you can see that we have this particular where is it div tag in here so this is the div tag we used in here so we just specified a new javascript variable with an html tag so exactly the same thing so it's div class container tag everything but now in here you can see that we just had a dummy message which is hello everyone how are you guys doing but right here that's not what is there again right here what is there is response messages key dot user so this first of all is the username of the person that is sending message and this is the value of the message which is like hey what's up guys and this is the date so now we have this in an html tag we're just gonna append it to the div tag that has this hashtag display id so now this is empty then we're gonna append whatever we get into this div tag so after having that done and we just add an error so if anything happened if we had an error we just say an error occurred so this should totally work now let's save this up so if i come here so backend developers yeah let me hit refresh okay so as you can see now i have two messages so if i go into my chrome um this is not chrome this is microsoft edge internet explorer something like that so if i come into my dev tools and i come into console now let me hit refresh again okay normally i'm supposed to see all the data i'm getting in real time right here where i guess it's not chrome but as you can see in this html it's occasionally changing every one second so let me show you what is going to happen right now so if i send something like what's up people and i say send so automatically you see that that uh, we have that message here in the html you see that is automatically edited in our code now that's what that javascript code is doing so this is supposed to show everything I guess because I'm not using Chrome I don't know why but yeah we can skip that obviously and then let's see let's see let's see okay good so this is what we're looking for network not console sorry for that so you can see that um, this is getting some data every one second so it's updating updating actually this is not even what I'm looking for but it's still okay I guess so in console we're supposed to have oh yeah i know why the problem is so right here in our success function we didn't we, i remember i commented this out so let's save this again and let's hit refresh so now you can see i have this message with an array loading so three messages for this particular room hey developer hey what's up and stuff so you can see now that we have three good let me have a new one like a and let me just say enter now you can see we have four in real time it's updating so let me show you what is cool about this i'm going to open a new incognito tab so in private window i don't even think i've opened this in this browser before so i'm just gonna let's have that there let's have this here um okay good so where is that we have you here good so now let me just access 
we are in backend developer so let's enter this same room let's paste it but now we are i think we are here as tommy now let's enter as john and then let's hit enter room now you see that it loads all the messages of this room now let me say hey tommy how are you doing automatically you see it shows here and it shows in my own side also so it's real time so if someone is in another part of the world it's gonna work so let's say we host this online and then we have two people connected in different places once a user sends a message here it's gonna show right here in my own platform in real time as long as i'm connected to the internet so it's a pretty good feature actually so let's make sure we got no errors and then let's test this again so let me just go to the home page and then home page so now let me create a new room so let me say um, let me just say code let me just name it code and now let me enter as brad something like this now i enter this room you can see now that there are no messages Actually, I can put something like um, if there are no messages, I should say no messages in this room or be the first to send a message, something like that. But we don't need that for now. So code. And then let's say I choose another name like Jesse. And now we hit enter. So now we have these two um, blank rooms. So now I'll say, hey, who's online? And I hit enter. You see, it automatically shows here without any delay. And I can see I am enter it shows here so this is very very good so I might host this online maybe when I'm done with recording this tutorial and then if I do I'm gonna leave a link to the description in the description so if you want to chat with me there you can and um, I guess we're pretty much done with this video let's just do some things right here okay how's coding going yeah good i just say good just love testing this so yeah this is very good i love what we built in this video if you guys love what we built and um, you like you liked watching this video and if you watch this video to this particular point i appreciate you because not everyone watches to the end so thank you so much guys for watching the first part and the second part and i'm gonna see you in the next video